Hello everybody, I'm here with the Himmer Game Channel. Welcome back to Ireland Expanded. And we'll have a little sub mod for, uh, you know, the vanilla game and little old Ireland over here. Oh, you just thought, uh, no, you just thought, Czechoslovakia has joined the Allies. So, I'm not going to lie, um, today's episode probably going to be pretty lackluster. And we're just going to spend some time kind of finish sorting out um, sort of our industry as well as our um, well I quite fi uh, fancy sorting out all the defences I think that would be pretty beneficial and I'm not going to join the Axis because they're doing terrible I'm just going to plot my invasion of the UK 25 to 125 I think what I might actually do is uh, rather than going for Scotland first, I'll hit Liverpool. I feel like that's probably the better of the choices there. I do want to get some more divisions out first, and I do want to actually get support artillery into the uh, into the port companies. So we're pretty far off of doing anything there now. Plus, I could do with actually getting a navy bolt up a little bit. Which we are able to start doing. We can get these garbage submarines out. I'll pop them into our fleets of six ships. Um, trade, 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 trade. United States, give us some more steel, please. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, some more factories, dockyards, not a bad choice. Why is Irish zinc mining? Let's go ahead and grab this. Ireland has the, pot has the potential to be one of Europe's leading producers of zinc. Although not particularly useful in the production of heavy military equipment, zinc is used in a variety of electronics and having access to a substantial supply of this natural resource would certainly be an asset of Ireland's research and development teams. It may also come in handy when building radar stations. Perfect. Radar stations, yep, totally build them. Do you know what that'll do? I do want to possibly start getting... Oh, we don't have fighters researched. Let's get the limited conscription. I'm just going to queue up another 12 divisions. That is what we're going to get out. I do want a batch of 24. So let's put 8,000. Do you know what? We don't actually need that much artillery. Because we need more guns. We need more guns. Guns, guns, guns. We don't have enough convoys. Oh! That's... That's not great. A Portuguese Civil War. Antonio de Oliverio uh, Salazar is still here. And we have Bento Goncalves, Calves, the Iberian Socialist Union. Oh, what a mess. I feel like the Republic, the path towards a greater Bulgaria. Well, that is going to be silenced. That is going to be hella silenced. Unlucky, a Boris, but you are going to be taken care, uh, taken out by your government. The Panay Incident. Okay, we're a little short artillery now, that's fine. I'll just train the boys that haven't actually been trained, so that's seven. Let's see to 108. Mm. Hope a lot. Of Germany is doing terribly. So once zinc mine, Irish zinc mine is finished, we'll go ahead and grab the expand the I uh, the ESIC. Then I'll probably go ahead and do the uh, National Industrial Investment Fund. Then grab the Great Green Leap Forward because apparently I have to have one of the following, um, which isn't zinc mine, uh, zinc mining. Actually, that's pointless. Can I get a uh, landing craft? 191 days. 
kind of want to invade them sooner rather than later, to be fair. Looks like uh, Salazar is going to win this. Mm, and that. The, uh, the Republic is definitely with it, Bulgaria. Oh, three, three. Sorry, guys. I have been working today, so. I feel a little bit. A little bit tired. How many subs are we producing? Oh, we're not producing them that quickly. Lack of resources, minus 45%. Yay. That is the music to my ears. So, the ESIC have been doing a fantastic job to date, and they celebrate the growth. Further investment will facilitate their involvement in a greater number of research projects, enabling our team to cover more ground and deal with more fields. This will improve our overall flexibility in the field of. I didn't mean to cancel it. The field of science. Hell yeah, boy. Yes, aluminium. So apparently we have a decent little bit of aluminium. Wow, they lied to us. We have three. Oh, Japan's going to have to come into China. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, literally just waiting on guns. Um, one, two, three. That brings up to twelve. Another one. There goes Bulgaria. Another one, two of those. And we have another wee dockyard. Boom. Yeah, we've now got the Republic of Bulgaria. A nice wee wee glimmer of hope down there. Oh, the fate of the Balkans. Oh. Wait, are you not aligned? Yeah, you are. Damn, so that means you can actually go down here. Okay. Not what was I what I was really expecting. But um okay. What are we missing here? Enough equipment. Ah, I need infantry equipment for that. Okay, okay. We'll just watch the mess that is the Axis. It's actually, it's just shocking. I'll try and take out the UK, but... Again, with my fleet so puny. Okay, I pretty much caught up on steel, which is good. No, the issue next is um, I completely forgot what I was going to say there. Oh, get the template. Sorry. Turn to 82 days. I should be able to land all 24 divisions then by that time. You're really 117 away from that. What am I watching in terms of Germany? What, what are they doing? Okay. A devolved Croatia. Oh, there comes the Germans and Venus, the faction, because they know they're getting destroyed. And I will happily say, I know. Right, construction, as construction expanded our nation's industry is vital if Ireland is going to play any sort of key role on the world stage in the future. We need to make funds available to finance our rapid industrialization project. This will allow us more room for expansion and more efficient construction depending on how much funds we make available. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Germany. We're not getting involved. We're currently plotting our involvement, but uh, our involvement will not be shown until a later date, really. It's called biding your time. And the UK decided to declare war on Yugoslavia. Will this be a game changer for our boys in the Axis? 
Or will everything continue on as it has been? Them losing. Oh no, UK. What have you done? No, yep, Romania joined the Axis. Oh, and there's a civil war in Yugoslavia. Not great at all. This is still ongoing. The Iberian Socialist Union joined the common term. Yep, that is totally going to work out in our favour. Wow, we have 10 ships. Wow. Okay, the Iberian Socialist Union has joined the common term. They, they shouldn't join in. They shouldn't join in a civil war. It'd be completely pointless for them to do so. So now you take out Czechoslovakia. Yeah, let's actually have a garrison in place because. I don't fancy them. I don't want them showing up unwanted. No, that's not what you need to be doing. Oh, Hungary died. It's a matter of time for Poland to die now. Yeah, I'm so close to actually just joining in now. So close. Did the common turn join in that? No, they didn't. No, oh, the Americans are helping those, uh, one of them, one side, and the Soviet sailor. I call a cold war already. Well, guys, I had to take a break during the recording. Uh, I was too tired to finish off the episode. So, I, uh, I just went to bed. I thought it was the best thing to do, rather than me falling asleep on the computer. <laughs> Which very much could have been the case. Um... So, where we left off, I've got 28 days until landing crash ready. I think what I am actually going to do is, I feel like Liverpool is going to be a hard uh, bit to take. So, we're going to go ahead and land up in Scotland. Um, Poland's probably going to die very soon as well, which is good. As long as the Germans then don't go ahead and declare war on anybody else. We're also going to exercise a decent wee bit... Um, which might cause us to take a little bit longer to get sorted out, but that's fine. We're no, in no rush to join the war. Um, Germany's probably going to declare war on every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I guess that's okay. Uh, hopefully, they're covering the border. Alright, there goes Poland, and the UK's got some divisions chilling. Their support is awful. There's this awful... Oh, the Spanish Empire's joined us. They don't have any divisions, though. Yeah, they have three of the 15. They don't even have any manpower. I guess it makes sense for them to join the Axis, but they're not really going to be of any use whatsoever to anybody. As for us, we just need to wait for these guys to exercise. These guys are all ready to go. Hopefully, they can get a nice good foothold in Scotland. That is the plan. I still want, I still want to get artillery, support artillery, and at least before we go to war, because that should set us back too much in terms of um, artillery needs. Yeah, we'll still have a night. One hundred ninety-seven. 
Just because it helps with our defense and everything. It helps with a lot of the stuff. Yeah, fair enough, the organization goes down in recovery rate, but... I want to be boost in soft attack, hard attack, breakthrough and defense. We are going to leave four guys defending uh, the homeland. Just in case they do try and naval invade us, which is very much... Um, on the table, like, it is very possible that it will happen. So we've got 30 days until we get the great green leap forwards. Why have you declared war in Switzerland? Why? Okay, they. I guess they can do what they want. Doesn't make much sense to me, but... It's AI for you. So at least now what I can do is... No, wait a second. I want to grab five visions. Yeah, I've just got another five to put into play. Um, I think I've just 20 divisions landed over there. Which should manage to do a decent bit of damage, because most of them guys will be abroad. Uh, well, actually, saying that, Africa's pretty much been secured by the Allies, so a lot of their guys could be at home. Because they don't have a front over here to cover. I don't think the Japanese are at war with the Allies. Oh, the British Raj just split up into three nations. <coughs> I said four. Um, yeah, Pakistan's here now, Bangladesh and Burma. Germans really do want to join the Axis. Oh, the Italians are pushing a little bit forward to France. I could always go and try and help them take out France. Rather than trying to go for the UK right now. And then if I knock out the UK, but then I probably won't be able to get across to them. No, don't go for Scandinavia as well. What's the need? Get them once the Germans are in. Eh, not Germans, the Allies have been dealt with. Nice, in our research slot. Thank you very much, Lee. And what we'll do now is... I think I'll go ahead and do the... The army one here. It's only 14 days, but it gives me some army experience which we could use. I'm also going to go ahead and bump us up to extensive conscription. Military police is done. Let's go ahead and grab improved infantry equipment too. Yep, great. Germany making more enemies. Oh my days, we haven't actually done any land doctrine. What a fool. Oh, we're going to have a few of you guys ready, which is good, and two more of them are getting exercised right now. <coughs> yep, let's go ahead and put the artillery in. Oh, I feel sorry for my ships, only 14 of them. Gonna have a big challenge ahead of themselves. Oh, the Spanish have joined then. Saying that, hopefully the Italians manage to get some troops over to help them. Because this could turn into a very nice front. Because they still have this joint government, don't they? Why are they doing the Council of Rambouillet? Wow, they're leaving that late, are they not? Are we able to get at least engineers in? We could, or we could go for the um, signal companies. Initiative goes up. Yeah, do you know what? Signal companies. People's army, that takes so many days to do that. Um, let's, let's fortify the, the Shannon. One of Ireland's key natural landmarks is the River Shannon, dividing the east and west of Ireland. Our military has proposed fortifying both sides of the river so we can hold the line along the Shannon. In the event of an enemy invasion. Nice. Land forts. We're going to turn Ireland into a fortress. Right. You are the first one to get onto there. You are ready. Bulgaria's going after Albania. Who's guaranteed by Italy. 
So now you're at war with the Italians, which means you're going to end up at war with the Axis and you're going to join the Allies. Right, let's get some infrastructure built since we can't build any more factories for the time being. We should probably do in that case is actually grab concentrate on District 4. Italy's claimed Yugoslavia. That's fine. There were the Axis, so we don't have to worry about that causing issues. Albania has managed to push forward. That's a bit awkward, is it not? It's a Bulgarian troops encircled, possibly. That's one place I want to actually go, uh, Dubrovnik. Once things return back to normal. Whatever that may be. Um, right. Have you not flipped the I don't know how they've not flipped the communists yet. See if I get involved. Will they? Uh, will they have a communist civil war? That'd be absolutely hilarious. It's probably going to be the next episode before we go to war with them. I don't. I don't want to rush into things. I want to have all my equipment first. Oh, the steel shortage. It's because we're using a lot of convoys for the naval invasions. Do you know what? Just hop off that now. It gives me some more factories to trade with the U.S. Then that should mean. If hey, one, use them for trade. You, I've got them. Let's spin it. Let's start up again. There we go. Right. Just to help with production. I don't really want to be diving into this without, you know, having all the possibilities first. Add it here. I do want to get you in production as well. Once we have a building slot, I could technically take one off of you. I'll put one back on once I get the chance to do that. Don't think anti air is going to be something I can put in though. It's only 20 per 480. But one factory building them. Mm. Bit of a stretch, I think. Nice, and our division is ready. Maybe best case scenario is that I might actually be able to get another four divisions out. And then that would give us a whole batch of 24. Only these are 57,000 though, in manpower. At least the Germans actually look like they're kind of mopping up a little bit. As long as they don't go to war with the Soviets. I guess I could join the Axis. I don't share a land border with them. It just means they probably have ships in the, the sea. They're probably going to have ships over here anyways. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll wait. We'll bide our time a little bit more. So how long is it going to take to get those 3,000 guns? 77 days. That's pretty good going. And our division there. That leaves those four. It's fine. If anything, we might actually be able to get engineers involved. That would mean we're short of support equipment. Mm. I could always sort my garrison template because that needs to be sorted out as well. I need to remember I can actually invest in Irish industry. I could do that right now. Could also expand that council. Oh, let's finish fortifying. It's going to have some political power for that as well. Anti-air, that's going to be pretty useful. I'm probably going to Citadel Dublin. I would like to work down to mobilize the Irish Defence Corps. Mobilize a rapid response force in key locations around the nation. We should probably get to that during the war. I don't know if it will be that beneficial for us. It might just give us some crappy divisions, but at the same time, crappy divisions defend home could be very useful. Because the allies will, no doubt, um, naval invaders. So, 
and Bala Iron Act, I've definitely said it wrong. Our next proposal for the defence of Ireland is to build a wall of coastal defences along Ireland's eastern and southern shores, where naval invasion is most likely to take place. And we are going to be hella stacked. And I could go up even higher in the conscription, but I think what we will do instead. The Netherlands and Albania have both been defeated. Bulgaria is only at war with the Italians. Bulga uh, Bulgarianization of the Balkans. Okay. Do we want to grab a defense guy? So let's save the plug up for the time being. I do actually want to invest in our research speed. And that killed so That could be a good move. Alright, that's some more divisions out. But I shouldn't have put them on the reds. I should put them on the blue. In our three divisions, it's got to be them three. And it looks like the, uh, the communists are winning. That's how we look at the ongoing conflicts. Casualties. Not actually too bad. Kid, you, you could be doing a lot better. But that's, I guess that's not the end of the world right there. I love how China doesn't count as a major, it's communist China. Wow. It's actually pretty good for the Japanese. Um, 75,000 men, yeah, they, they're dead. They're so dead, I don't know what they've done wrong, but. French have managed to push the Italians back somewhat. Oh, the Spanish have made a little bit of advancement. How are you doing for manpower? That's gonna be your main issue. Still not too bad, they're an extensive conscription. I feel like you're getting stronger and stronger, UK, and I don't like it. Let's put them under there. Peace conference. Oh, Bulgaria died. Wait, 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 wait. Who? Who? Serbian Empire. Oh. I'll sort that out because that is disgusting. Bulgaria actually got. Why did Romania puppet Bulgaria, right? But in a place that's not even a core. Romania has got. Yeah, that's a core state, so they would take that transfer. What we'll do is we'll give that to the Italians. There we go. Bulgaria's looking good. Right. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, next episode, we'll jump into the war and we will hopefully defeat the Allies. So, until next time, take care. Cheer bye. Then, now.